Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. I'm here to do a Libra reading. This is all placements of Libra. All right. And this is posting in February, but it's really timeless. We have the first card out for you, Libra. A few cards came out in a pre-shuffle and they're meant to be here. And this is Peacock. Very first card came out. And this is Resurrection and Protection, Libra. So whatever it is that's going on right now, know that you are protected as you advance. Okay. Um, this has been coming through lately for you in general as a message and also the fact that it's now um you know peacock showing up again it, it is sort of a again like putting an exclamation point on that on that message you also had an archangel come through right away uh this is um this is hazeel all right and this is um a libra energy actually and it's the number 10 is on here and this is about unconditional forgiveness it's not just for others libra it's for yourself you're encouraged right now to um, ask the angels for support, for mercy, even. This is an angel that does fight evil, and it also includes the own critic we have within ourselves, Libra. This is about seeing the innocence and almost like giving the benefit of the doubt in, in as many situations as possible, including with yourself. If you're having a hard time with something, uh, with um, you know, making a decision or leaving something, or um, getting things in order or coming to, you know, again, some sort of solution for something, you know, it's give yourself, give yourself some compassion here, all right? Because this is about raising vibration through love, through forgiveness, through understanding, all right? So this is, you know, just helping you um, kind of help yourself and, um, and sort of, uh, you know, almost like I get like a hug yourself kind of energy right now. Maybe some of you do hug yourself when you need it. And uh, we also have Archangel Joe Feel here. And this is about acting with wisdom, Libra, using information for the greatest, highest good. Some of you are going to have someone, possibly someone you're forgiving or wanting to, or they want forgiveness or whatever. Some, or even, you know, it could actually be anyone coming in with a small token of appreciation, of affection. It could be something like a coffee or uh, a cupcake. I just heard coconut. I don't know, you know. You tell me what that means. Maybe you like coconut milk in your coffee or whatever, but um, so we do. Maybe it's a coconut cupcake. Yeah, but uh, we do have this here and it's about using information for the highest good. But again, it's sort of like opening yourself up to this uh, new sort of patience with yourself, this new, um, again, there's a lot of something here about needing to have self-compassion. All right. Um, you also have, oh, we're going to do this now. No, okay. Elephant direction, root chakra card seven, lucky seven. For some of you, I get a 10, seven birthday. I'm also getting grandmother, mother energy with these cards together. Uh, this is about, you know, the new clarity that, that can come through because this has to do with connecting to your ancestors. All right. This is, this is ancient uh, wisdom. All right. This is, um, you know, about things manifesting uh, from, from, you know, I think of the magician as above, so below. It's like, if you can, you know, dream it up, you can actually make it a reality. So it is about manifestation, but with sort of angelic assistance, you're encouraged actually to ask the angels and, um, you know, your God or God's um, goddesses to, to be with you. So, and to help you with this, I'm getting a timeline of three weeks for something. Um, I actually am personally feeling two to three months so um, there's something with a timeline there for some of you. I was also getting earlier something about um, Lake Amnesty or Amnesty in general. And also, um, so with these readings, I am, just so you know, I am a psychic medium. So I do get messages that come in and I, sometimes I need to listen or feel the energy before I actually will say what, what it's coming in. Okay. I need to get a more complete picture. Um, and with that, I'm, I am getting something about um, needing to uh, maybe like have some fun now because something serious is coming up, Libra. Or maybe it's you're coming out of a period of seriousness and you're, you're finally allowing yourself to play. But there's certainly an energy here where, um, where it's like, how do I phrase this? Um, by allowing yourself to be open and to have more fun, you kind of are letting the energy flow more. And you're almost sort of, I'm getting this, this image of this, this white bird. All right. Um, kind of, um, it's almost like it didn't realize how much it grew because it hasn't been out of its cage or it's, um, 
I also was getting something about triangulation. So, you know, look that up if, if you're not familiar with what triangulation is, but, but um, sort of like being boxed in almost in a way. Um, and it's kind of like, um, because almost like you've been restricted, you didn't realize how powerful you are maybe, or maybe you don't, or maybe you're just getting out of a situation where you're just realizing now that, um, you know, just how mighty you are. All right. Again, such a resurrection energy. Oh, it's making my eyes water a little. <laughs> uh, Archangel Joe's uh, jewels too. Now these Libra cards, these are cards that came out in a pre-shuffle that, that needed to come out, wanted to be like front runners in this reading. So I'm going to allow those to come through first. And then we are going to move into tarot and some other messages, of course, as well as specific departed love messages where I'll focus just on that for a little bit of the reading. Okay. Remember, these are general, they are not personal. And I do have to mention that um, just so that my audience knows that, you know, not everything I say will resonate, but hopefully something does. And if so, I'd appreciate if you would give a like, a comment, subscribe. And I appreciate all of my regulars here and my subscribers and those lovely comments you leave me. Thank you so much. So now align with the highest, go with the flow. You know, okay, I just heard Marshall. There's, oh, okay martial law. Hmm. There's also something here about cause and effect. All right. Um, oh, that makes me, um, they wanted me to talk a little bit about karma. Um, so karma can be confusing and even I'm learning about, you know, really like, cause there are different views and different definitions. There's Eastern, Western, and all that. And there are the, the laws of karma or the rules basically. Um, and one thing with karma is it's not, and I think I mentioned this in another way, it's not something that we are to wish upon others because karma is karma. Karma is essentially the effect of actions. It's like the, what I did this and this causes. So it is a cause and effect relationship. So what you put out, you bring about that sort of thing, the golden rule, you know, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. So there is something here about um, an energy too, that you may be dealing with Libra where someone almost wants you to like stoop to your level and it's, it's not, it's not worth it because they will get what is what they dish out basically. And it's not anything that we control. And it's not even really in my place to have sort of this, like, well, opinion about it, like, well, you're going to get what you deserve. So there's a, there's a discussion that needs to kind of happen about like with yourself or with your highest self that my highest self is having with maybe yours right now, even that, um, don't worry about their karma. We, we don't have control over it once it's been, um, sort of, uh, built up. It's, it's, again, it's the cause and the effect relationship. And it's something that isn't anything we even need to concern ourselves with. So it's something about that. There's like this, um, it was coming to me even in days before this to discuss karma for some reason here in this reading. And that it's, it's not actually good karma for us, for us to wish someone bad karma, even though we have no impact on their actual karma, what they do, their actions and thoughts are, you know, thoughts are actions too. Like what they do, whoever hurt you or upset you or whatever, or anybody really, it can be good or good or bad that comes to them. So that's why I don't even stoop to like wishing someone that they get their bad karma or something. It's just, it just is. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, there again, it's a message that's been strongly needing to be like wanting to come through. So you may want to yourself, like just kind of look up karma and like, you know, and when you're a spiritual person, that sort of thing, and the, the relevance to you, I don't know why, but someone could have wished you bad karma. And that is like, that's impossible. They can't, we can't wish someone's karma. Their karma just is. It's a result of their actions. It's like, you know, actions, consequences, cause, effect, that sort of thing. Okay. So uh, let's, let's leave that there. We have another J name here with these archangels. We have Jeremy. So maybe there's a JJ or Maybe someone's actually a triple J out there with three J initials, or you could be, you know, you could have a family when three of your brothers are I'm getting Josh, James and Jelly right now, you know, where you've got kids or, you know, you've got, you know, that sort of thing or sisters or whatever. But um, 
there's again this white bird sort of innocent energy now yeah white birds do remind me of sort of intention innocence purification so you're you're rising up not just as this peacock here libra um but but as this um very this sort of new like pure version and maybe i was getting a message about karma for you libra because you have cleared so much of it you know like you've you've learned some lessons and now you're sending out different information to the universe about what you you know um maybe you're not hanging around the same people or you're just not having the same things upsetting you or whatever it is but um it's almost like because you changed now everything will change like in your favor for some of you okay some of you you've you know you're no longer using substances or something like that and and you know give it time things will will that wheel will will turn it'll get unstuck i just did a reading on that like a week or so ago you know it will it will um turn in your favor uh, but sometimes it does take a little time and i know some of us are tired and weary but that will come through um look and then i have actually uh, trust in your higher forces with this shaman card all right i'm gonna just put some of these i just heard something about a new moon rising maybe uh, around february was it the ninth or even the 10th when we had the chinese new year there's something about a new moon rising so there's something about this new energy maybe that was that came to you around that time um again this is timeless so it could have been any new moon oh you were born at a new moon for some of you okay um you don't have to dish out what you're being served someone is telling me something about you're being almost spoon fed something that has a bitter taste and you you don't have to take that you could actually also be taking some kind of medicine or something that like it's not agreeing with you or something and i'm not a doctor of course but you know it's like i'm picking up on like the taste or the or it could be a metaphor where it's just like something is just not sitting well with you that you're ingesting that you're around that's um that, yeah that's around you're even polluting your air as i'm hearing warrior okay and you notice here, I just want to say this is like they're kind of holding this sort of wheel of fortune type item here. OK, I mean, the way depending on how you look at it. So your perspective. All right. You're going to hear some good news, something some people are going to hear two two really good things coming in. Uh, it may have to do with money. Absolutely. If you're wondering that. Um, uh, I heard Sterling. I heard Foster. Maybe you foster someone, there's a name foster, but being fearless and standing your ground. You've always had that within you, I'm getting, okay? There's memories too here with these cards, elephant in particular. What about these memories? Oh, I'm hearing Joey again. Joseph, Josephine. I was getting kind of variations of Joey. Don't soothe your pain with momentary pleasures. So, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, there's, so. Yes, there are some powerful memories coming in. Let me see something here. Some things can't be forgiven, I'm being here. I'm hearing somebody say. But some of you are willing to, you know, are willing to, to not go there to protect yourself, actually. So you're not willing to walk back or go back. I heard late July. I also heard something earlier about Hanukkah. And there's even, there's either something important happened around Hanukkah season, even if you yourself aren't Jewish, okay? Um, there's something either about last Hanukkah season or the one upcoming. I know it's far away, but there is something there. Uh, it was like something big happened. It could have been some sort of argument. It could have also been like a reconnection of some kind or will be. So that's coming in. We have patience and oneness wanting to come in together, Libra. Now we have, yeah, the mountains stand your ground. I'm very much getting that sort of seven of wands, fiery energy here. Standing your ground, not backing down. I just heard Leonard Skinner too. That's not a standing around, but you know, that's, that's actually like Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, I think. 
Uh, but then Leonard Skinner came through just now. Maybe somebody loves Leonard Skinner. I just saw Pisces energy, by the way, float by. So, um, all right. So we have patience is required at the moment. You may feel exactly. You might feel things are not moving. You may feel that wheel is not moving, but it's something is evolving still. Things are still evolving in a positive fashion. So this is about, again, having the patience, realize you are indeed at the wheel, even though we can't control every aspect. We can still be driving the bus, driving the car, even though we can't control all of the conditions. So there is still, you know, remember about the, the things you can control. All is perfect. Trust. Okay. You're eternally loved and guided. Your angels want you to know that you will eventually realize that what's going, what's happening right now. And in this timing, it's actually a blessing for you, Libra. I heard Windsor, Connecticut. I don't know if that's a place or not. And I don't know if I said it already in this reading, but I'm hearing that too. So I do pause in these readings. So hopefully you're okay with that. Mm. It says, um, It's almost like somebody just I'm getting like wanting more resources, enjoying something and wanting to be able to do more of it. It could even be something as simple as like wanting another dessert. Like I want seconds on dessert. There's something about something with sweet, maybe even. And you'd love a little more of that in your life or a lot more. This could also be this kind gesture that's coming in for some of you. So someone you dearly miss is in fact still present. They're saying, remember, dearest one, even though there's been a physical parting of ways, those we love never leave us, right? We don't, they don't leave us. Something about opening that window or there's just to get some fresh air. Some of you need fresh air and need more color in your life because your environment really has such an impact over your internal environment, I'm hearing. I also heard about squirrels just now. Squirrels represent a lot of activity. And squirrels kind of store, you know, they store the food in their cheeks and they, they stash it in different places. There could be something you stashed away, Libra, that you can't remember where it is. I would encourage you to call upon Archangel Shanuel to help you with that respectfully. Nothing's truly ever missing. Um, everything is, it's just a shift of energy, right? It's a changing of form. But the energy, when we leave our bodies, the energy does not, we don't, you know, you can't, it, it's, it's still energy. It just changes form, right? That's one reason too, Libra, I think I'm getting this message about karma for some of you. And there's also something about your goodwill paying off. I just had a card pop out at me. It says vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. You are making things right. I just heard Diane or Diana, even Deanne. Oh, what is this name? Leand Leandro or. Yeah, that could be. Okay, Washington Monument too. And I just heard something about Hocus Pocus. Maybe some of you like that movie or something. Um, there could be somebody wanting to meet you, Libra, in sort of a sketch. Like you're not comfortable with the setting, change it. If you're not comfortable with, change it. Or if you're about to go on, say you're about to go on a date and you have this like feeling about, I don't feel like going, I don't really feel like driving there tonight actually now. Ch change it. Like don't worry about, you gotta, you have to follow that intuition. Okay. There's something about like basic instincts too, that are really kicking in, kicking up a notch. I want to get more cards. Actually, you know what? I want to go into tarot right now for you. You're being held in high esteem, high regard, highest honor. Some of you are, maybe you graduated with distinction, magna, magna, mag, um, sorry, summa, cum laude, um, decision time. 
Two of Swords, Libra Energy, use your intuition. Temperance, okay, yep, again, we have this, this Sagittarius energy, but it's like patience and um, moderation. I feel like some of you are actually willing to take it slow. You're not, you're not in a hurry anymore because it's sort of like you just get it now. It's like some of you have this, like, you've had this realization, maybe this revelation all of a sudden where you're just like, you're, you're like, I get it. Okay, I can do this. I can do that or something like that. Oh, wow. I love seeing temperance and judgment together um, because, they, you know, there are two cards with these uh, lovely angel wings in here. And, and it, you know, something that could have tested your patience or certainly is testing your patience, I feel as though um, you're going to hear what you need to hear on it. You're going to get that clarity, Libra. And you're realizing, again, that it's not a rush. So you are taking your time with important matters, including matters of the heart or something to do with income here even. There could be so many different scenarios, though, I'm getting. I'm getting like Colester or Cole or Colchester or Chester. There's some sort of a Colair, Colb. There's a name like that. Okay. Um, rectifying a situation. Yeah. Okay. So somebody actually, let me get something else here. Let me say here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. What else? Manipulation? No. Okay. Someone's little tactics, or if they try to manipulate you or get in your way of success, they're not going to succeed. They're not succeeding in that. Okay. Some of you wanted to know that. Isabella, Noah. So I get a lot of names in these readings. Manuel. Manuela. Um, I heard heed the warning. Some of you received a warning. Heed that warning. If you're getting a warning light on your car or your smoke detector or something's going off, take care of it. Some of you just had an ambulance ride or someone close to you. There is something about an ambulance ride. Now I'm not trying to scare anyone. I picked, I'm picking this up sort of as like past energy, maybe two days ago, something too. I don't, I don't know. Queen of Pentacles, all right? This is um, your resources. You know, really, really um, calling in your blessings too here because you've got, you know, it's like your patience definitely pays, all right? It pays. And even the um, even this sort of, because you've got the momentum, you've been strategic and you've built momentum here going forward. Your vision is therefore coming true, all right? Um, birthright it's your birthright to have these blessings libra charmaine charmina charmine um oh there's something about i'm getting sort of like blessed is the one who sees their cup and appreciates it like no matter what if it's half full, half empty, whatever, full or totally empty, because they always see just having the cup as a blessing. So just your capacity, just, just, um, you know, your capacity, your skills, your, your ability to, um, live, to have life, to have a, just your basic even needs. Some of you have come from a place where you didn't even have that, or like your ancestors, like didn't have that even, um, most of our, I mean, a lot of our ancestors didn't. I mean, you know, I know my grandparents were immigrants and, you know, they worked very hard for everything they had, but, um, it's, oh, some of you are the first. Okay. You're the first. And also there is something about three generations too. Something important there about three and recognizing that maybe you are, there's something like, maybe you're third generation American or something, or I even got Sicily. So there's something, there is something there about like remembering, you know, how far maybe that you even saw like your parents and your grandparents, what they had to go through and like realizing like you've always kind of been, maybe been like an old soul and you've realized like that you, um, I'm getting something like Whitingham, Whiting House. yeah, maybe you've really, you know, we're grow we're raised so that you really um, appreciate everything you've had. And there's turning point energy. 
there but there is yeah like i was saying there's something about just having that ability it's almost like uh, or having just knowing you have the opportunity some of you are just grateful for the fact that you know you have peace fresh air water and a house to live in or a warm place to sleep or food in your belly that's that's that level of that's like a such a deep appreciation for everything maybe you're really connected to to nature and you offer nature gifts i'm getting or and you feel as though nature truly um gives you gifts as well it's this exchange you have with nature in particular all right so that's going to be a very personal message for somebody you feel most alive when you're at when you are in nature alone that's when you feel like you're part of the heartbeat of the earth i'm hearing when you're really connected and in the midst of it and it's ironic because you're actually alone but in nature you don't feel that way you don't feel alone someone used to say the sky's the limit and tell you how you were limitless and i'm not sure you believed them at the time i'm getting like vidal Vilade or vidaldi or um I even heard Guinevere just now. Guinevere. Uh, and I know this is specific. It may feel random, but there's something about like tuna salad. Tuna salad. Maybe you had a tuna salad sandwich. I do pick up on past, present, future energies of not just your loved ones, but of you. So um, who, who knows? Eight of cups walking away. Someone says, no, thanks. I don't like tuna. No, you never know. Um, but yeah, that could actually be part of the message. Um, I'm getting an image about, you know, that saying like you just throw some spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. I'm getting somebody's like done with that. They don't, they want to have more of a plan. And yeah, even though you don't know what's on the other side, it's something about having like some sort of structure to the way things are going and feeling like maybe you have more control over um, where you're headed and not just like always having to, um, it's not that you don't want to go with the flow because you do, because we don't know what's on the other side, but it's like having a plan of action, having, you have the path, but you're like, you're fine being patient with it almost. So you're just like, you're fine being patient with it. You're fine. Um, you know, not controlling every step basically. Um, is what does that mean vitale um could be use caution when something is wet if it's, it could be roads it could be uh in your tub it could be the floor you may have actually had a close call and it's like now i'm getting sort of this divine message for some of you you, you need to be careful to use caution that was sort of like a little like um just a little reminder for you and it may have like kind of scared you if you almost slipped or you did slip i'm getting like a slip in the bathroom and i don't know if i'm picking up on like this your energy here someone here or if it's someone on the other side that slipped uh they may have actually needed like railing chair in their tub or something like that you might have actually helped with the installation or you might have been the one to recommend that too i'm hearing wilhelmina and i'm hearing vera too and Lake Henley, Henley, Page of Wands. I heard Cobra Princess. It's sort of this magical energy, Libra, where you can, there's an inspiration here, but you don't want to reveal it. Don't reveal it to people before it's ready right don't take the cake out of the oven and show it to everybody before it's baked all right and that's i don't know why they gave me that that was the that was the metaphor the analogy the comparison whatever but king of cups energy so you see this opportunity but you're keeping it to yourself here uh water energy i'm picking up by this restaurant near um water it's a restaurant near water it's um I just heard eclectic even maybe it was somewhere you used to go and you're like you're thinking of going there again or or i'm picking up on the time period of then this would have been about like 2017 even around that at time so 15 16 18 17 something around 17. 
a Scottish, something about a dog in Scottish or Scotty. Um, and then there's something about a, like a terrier. And then somebody being very, um, now this may sound again, you know, what isn't going to sound random basically right now, but, but it should fit for somebody. Um, something about the regal beagle, or there's like a funny name about even a restaurant. This could be a different one. And it's something about like, it, it could be like, um, it's like a funny adjective that, that's connected to um, something that you wouldn't normally connect it with, like a dog, like the regal beagle or, or something, or like the The, um, that's all I'm getting for that. Okay. But there is something about a connection there. Maybe that was a loved one's favorite restaurant. Maybe it was the last time you went out with them or you celebrated something there. We have this, um, so there's this nightmare kind of energy here with the nine of swords, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of like, again, there's, even though this king of cups has these opportunities, there, I'm saying opportunities because there seems to be, there could be more than one. For whatever reason, it's causing, okay, you're needing a timeout. You got to get things clear. Yeah, I don't even know where to put these because they feel sort of isolated. Like they're not really, I feel like it's almost like kind of, now I feel like the energies, these, this timeline could be mixed up here. This could be belong over here. There's something with this. I just heard about the butterfly effect. If you're not familiar, please look that up. And something came through. Soon we will be lifting the veil and you will see the light. Wow. So that came in right after butterfly effect. So, you know, there is this transformative energy here. I just heard about Whiskers and McGee. Miss Whiskers, McGee. I don't know if that's a cat or something. Polly as well, Polly. Pollyanna even. Um, you've... is do some of you have like a suitcase packed and it just sits there or you didn't unpack a bag or a suitcase or something or no i don't know if that's i'm hearing something about ultraviolet light too uv lamps and the color purple why um interesting okay page of pentacles this can actually be like i need to take a pause here with this it's sort of like you get part of your wish but you're not sure is like if that is that going to be enough are you get it are you gonna for some of you okay Hmm. What does this mean? You've got the queen of wands. So you have queen of wands and queen of pentacles. So there's sort of like the inspiration and the know-how, but piecing it together is, is sort of, I, there's something about this veil. Something is hidden. Now, when you have a queen of wands and a king of cups, whatever is hidden will absolutely come to light. Let me get a I want a card from a different deck here just for that. Six of Wands. You have Six of Wands twice now. Yeah. There is certainly um, success with your vision, Libra. There's victory here. There's, um, there's you know, attention even if that's what you're wanting. You've created some sort of momentum. Now, it's not that it, but it has been, I'm sort of almost getting like mixed episodes of like, you're feeling really good and then maybe you're like not, or maybe you're tiring very easily or something. There's energy here going on. I'm also getting something about like giving, giving uh, generosity, giving your resources. You may be in, you may actually not be sure how to distribute your resources or, or somebody um, is, It's not that they're interfering, but there's something, there could be some, something emotional about whatever this is. There's an emotional component. Let me see. Let's get into, um, I need to get, what do, what do, um, 
what are our loved ones? What? No, actually, you know what? What do we need to surrender to? What's in our way? What do we need to surrender to? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Now, we did have that about nature giving you gifts, and maybe you offer gifts to nature. Maybe you help nature in some wonderful way. Taking a relaxing break, spending time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Some of you just need to, again, like your energy is being zapped and you need to just go out into your element there, you know? I have this African goddess card here that wants to come in right now. I'm hearing Nichols too. Nickel, Nick, Nicholas. Now that is a name that comes in often. I have a feeling I have like a regular viewer or someone's ancestors like named Nicholas or whatever. Somebody, there's the name Nicholas and it comes through in almost all my readings. So I would say there's something there. Okay. So hello, Nicholas. Um, 44. This is ESET. This is about surrendering. Okay. Let's look at this beautiful card here. Look at it. So hopefully there's no glare on it. But this is like um, basically the high priestess energy. And you know, Libra, I am surprised. You had a couple of um, major arcana cards, but some of you, this is like, it feels major, but it isn't. But then others of you, it is major, but maybe you're trying to not make it out to be such a big deal so you don't freak yourself out or something. This is about like perfect timing too, Libra. This is releasing control, you know, not... Um, not connecting with that struggle. Okay. So this is, this is basically you're handing over, um, you know, control to the divine. You're letting spirit, um, carry you. Basically you're letting spirit carry you. You're trusting in that. This is about you not having to have it all figured out Libra, but to continue to move forward with your head held high. So this is about, um, having faith really simply stated. This is about letting it all go and just surrendering. All right. And I know that can be really difficult. Now, by the way, this goddess, um, in, in depending on, um, you know, this is, this is also, um, well, she's considered to be, um, what is it? It's, um, she, uh, she of 10,000 names. I believe that's another name for her. And, um, so you might know her as like Isis right? Osset. So uh, this is, but this particular goddess is from the Sudan region. Egypt too. Hmm. All the decks I use are in the description box, as is the disclaimer. You're reminding me you have free will final say your intuition knows best. And yes, I do have to let people know that during my readings. Choices. When you accept responsibility for your life, the choices you make begin to tap into you. That's how you tap into your own power. So it's this nice balance of like what you can control, what you can't control, and appreciating all of it, you know? Appreciating what's inside of you, appreciating the support you're getting on the outside, applying everything constructively to really manifest. There's one more for this. There might be two more actually. And you also have gratitude. So life's one big circle of giving and receiving. And you know, what's interesting, Libra, I actually set this down right on top of surrender to the natural beauty. And I mentioned there's something about your exchange with, nat with nature. So being thankful for what's in your life um, as well, who, what's in your life. And if you focus on gratitude, you'll, you'll probably notice that you start to attract more prosperity and abundance. Because thoughts, um, you know, they're energy. So we have to actually mind our thoughts, so to speak. And lastly, with this deck, strength. So strength comes from many sources. Mm -hmm. So you want to have a balanced body, mind, and soul. And I get that off this Queen of Pentacles too, Libra. And same with this temperance. It's that moderation. It's making sure all elements are, are aligning and that you're... Um, you know, you're really doing what you need for you and that you're just know you're never really alone. Okay. You're never really alone with whatever that stress is. Spirit has its own way of replenishing your soul. And again, a lot of you, it's nature. Now I'm going to move into some departed love messages here. I'm getting Reynolds 
I'm getting Riley. I heard Tucker. Hmm. What is this? Some of you are exploring higher wisdom. I'm hearing. Well, your aunt's house, somebody, uh, someone in spirit is seeing you, watching you do this. They might be somehow, they might be interacting. Maybe you found a new way to do that. What else? I was, okay, I went at the time I was supposed to. Mm. Elise, Lisa. Uh, Parkley, Park, Park, Parkley. No. Oh. Someone's saying, even if it's not perfect, do it anyway. All right. There's something you might, even if it's something like painting, you want to paint your ceiling or your walls or whatever you're painting or you're doing, considering art, do it anyway nothing to lose something that was once pretty clear might fear it feel a little blurry right now it'll come back into focus i knew you loved me i loved you the same something about um rainbows here too even uh double bows somebody loved those double bows <laughs> somebody would run outside and like in the rain to take pictures, video, whatever, of the rainbows too. I'm picking up on August and Leon. You made the right decision. Somebody very hardworking, maybe even be a carpenter or someone who worked with their hands or with wood in some way, or I'm picking up on your energy, but I am getting this brother energy too. I'm on, the, I'm on your left side. They're on your, so you may feel them with you. I never left. Okay. Well, I'm sending you songs too. Hmm. I just heard like getting jiggy with it or jiggy with it. Like jiggy, like jello, jiggy, jiggles like jello. Interesting. I was ready to go, but I was worried about you. This is a child, possibly. This could be somebody's child or you're, either you're the mom or that's your mom. It's coming through. Somebody may have been a choreographer in some way. They're helping you now choreograph blessings. Libra. Whitney Houston. Bonfire. Something about a bonfire. You had bonfires. You camped, maybe. There is a freedom and a rebirth here. This is an older energy. Like, this happened many years ago. Could have been even like 20 years ago. The cemetery is at the top of the hill. Again, not every single thing I utter will be your story. It will not necessarily all connect. Okay, Libra. In other words, I might get a partial message, but then sometimes I'll stay on a card and I'll get a little bit of the whole story. Okay. Just so people know how these work. What happened was not your fault. I am picking up of, um, an energy where someone, um, they really went too soon. This was a sudden loss and nobody expected it. We could have thought this person was getting better even, but I feel as though they're a younger energy and it was not your fault. There's nothing you could have done or said. Cause that's a personal battle, Libra. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. Oh, Some of you have lost people that sudden tragic way, like the same way. Like there've been multiple same types of deaths for you in your circle or your family, friends. It's, it's kind of like it happened again with somebody close at some, like at some point you were saying, Oh, it happened again. Like it seems to be happening. Um, it's changed you in some way though, that actually is, although it's not, you know, it's been difficult, but there's something about some sort of, um, you, um, learned from there, from that in some way, and maybe you changed your course and got on the right track or something like that. Listen to healing music. Again, this music is coming through. I heard Alabama. Alabama shakes. Alabama rising. I want you to be strong. General. Oh, like a general. Hmm. Um, there's a song that mentions a day of the week in it. Is there a song like Monday, Monday, do, 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 do. I don't know. It makes me think of the Beatles, but I don't know if that's who, okay? they sit in their car and listen to music like somebody sat would sit in the car just to listen to music alone or that's maybe something you do cinderella i'm picking up on a white cat now too Um, I'm picking up on some sort of abandonment. Big changes coming in your life, Libra. Dragonfly. I just heard wet basement. Get a towel. And some of you might have some sort of water issue or something. Or they did. You may have helped with that. Uh, some of you, you actually, they either they or you fixed, like the could fix the vacuum cleaner. You could basically fix, fix they or you could fix anything. So either they they were the person you could count on for that, or you were the person they could. There is something there though. Oh, and it's almost like um somebody's saying to me too. We showed love through actions, like day to day, not so much words. I'm hearing Eilina, but I'm seeing a name like Isla, too, or Island, some kind of island. Did they install an island? Who knows? Like in your kitchen. Look to the future, compass passport, go on that trip. If you can, because it's like when you, when, once you, you've got to take care of that stuff now before things really pick up for you. Like before this, there could be this next four years I'm getting, or they've been gone four years. I'm getting four years. Like the next four years could be really monumental for you you may have had a sibling and you were four years apart and they're connecting right now i'm hearing tools rattling around in the toolbox libra oh 50 or 52 a man Amon, that's a name. 
Don't dwell on the past anymore. I want you to be happy. Here, I'll carry that for you. Someone's wanting to help you with the burden. Or they were the one, you know, they always helped with your groceries or whatever it was here. I'll, almost like I'm getting sort of this very, um, a very sort of, um, what's the word? Uh, like a gentleman. I don't know how else to say it. I know it's not politically correct probably, but they were like a gentleman. They were a real gentleman. Special, someone special coming into your life. Someone may have um, been like really good at baking or cooking, but they didn't really eat it. Or someone like was a fisherman or a hunter, but they didn't eat what they brought home. They're releasing, they're saying release the old, you got the new release. McDermott. You were everything you made me happy. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this kind of like a dad or grandpa sort of energy here. Appears to be um, of African American descent. I was getting that like over here, not just because of this card. But once I saw this card, I was like, now it's even confirmed for me. I'm getting this sort of very gentle, older gentleman. This could have been like your person. They always, they could comfort you. And it wasn't even necessarily the words. It was like their gentle spirit. Um, oh, it's making you want to cry. There's something about the stairs too. stairs i'm picking up like a cardigan too could be a separate energy though libra and i don't i feel this person may have been bald or in energy i'm picking up on i'm seeing sort of a shiny uh, black head um they went through a lot though but it didn't break their spirit it's like they didn't spend time talking about everything that happened to them they just try to live a peace, a life of peace and gratitude. And they try to sort of be in a, like a role model for that. Oh man, Libra. Oh, I'm starting to cry. Oh. Now that person, they don't have to be of African-American descent or anything, but that is one specific energy that I did pick up on. And I'm getting Charles, Charlie. Hmm. Mitchell, take care of your body. <laughs> Eat your spinach. I just heard. Eat your spinach. Nice. And I want you to move on. Oh, this message wants to come out. Laughter is key. Okay, move on. Laughter is key. Find the humor and take a lighthearted approach. Wow. I'm so grateful to be able to do these readings for you, Libra. I just have to take a moment to express some gratitude for you and just for spirit and my guides and Reiki and um, all the angels and, um, you know, all the energies that are, that are here, hopefully offering you some comfort, Libra, in your situation. Maybe just um, it's like confirmation of some things you'd already suspected. Um, so I do hope you get something out of these readings. It's positive. There's an H name, an older um, H name. You don't always hear it anymore. Could be something like, um, uh, like Henry or Harold or, oh man, what is this name? There's a name. Um, Clarence. Clarence, too. Thank you for that. Thank you. I'm not happy when you're not happy. You know that. You know who this person is, okay? Uh, definitely getting mom energy again. There's been mom coming through here. I get the name Blake as well. 
um, extend your love to others the way you did for me. I want you to be close with your sister again. Somebody's telling me. I want you to do that for me. Denisha. Wow. Do we need one more of these? I think so. I'm helping you with a relationship. This is actually, it could be your relationship with God, Libra. I'm definitely getting that. And it can certainly be with a love situation. There's something about somebody who wants to say true, true romance or true love never fades. It's, it'll always be there. That I'm here, I'm seeing like something about hanging up your hat, but if it's time to go, move. Hmm. Yeah, only you're going to know, obviously, about these messages, Libra. And if they're yours, what else can we get you? I'd like to get you um, more butterflies, Libra. Believe in yourself and unleash your inner unicorn. Wow, your magnificence, your magic, all of that. Seeds, Libra. You know, you've had seeds come in a couple of times here. You know, again, I'm getting that again, like that dandelion wish energy. Okay. This is a new cycle beginning for you, Libra. Plant the seeds now to bring your new project into life. New beginning cycles, creation. It has everything to do with this, with this uh, protection and resurrection. You see how they're even similar here. I'm seeing a lot of similarities between these particular seeds and, and these like sort of in the feathers or even they actually those seem like they're like ferns or palms or something in the background. A warmer weather client, um, climate plant. What else do I have for Libra? Good things are happening to you too. Remember this and know there's plenty for everyone. Yeah, Libra, you deserve the happiness and there's plenty of happiness to go around for everyone. You have encounter. This is an unexpected encounter. It could slowly come in. Uh, change your course of mind. So keep an open mind. You had something about openness, didn't you? No, you had oneness, but I keep getting openness about needing to be open and knowing you are protected, okay? There could be some sort of chance meeting or surprise. Helpful change. More butterflies, Libra, seriously. So you'll navigate through the change successfully. There's some sort of assistance coming in that could facilitate this so it goes much easier. I'm, coming, I'm asking you to come back to this six of wands here, Leo Libra, and you have double six of wands. Oh, I'm getting numbers now, they're saying. Oh, Libra, of course you have sevens again. 77, inner wisdom. And this too. Pay attention to animals. A new animal spirit guide is entering your world. Late July, I'm hearing. Maybe you have like tortilla chips. 555 five, five, Libra. What do you know? Come on. We're always getting that, right? Sign of transformation. You can expect the unexpected. That's incredible. April 24th could mean something to you as well. I know that, again, so random, but so specific. So, um, yeah. So just, you know, continuing to have gratitude, Libra, with this 606 here. Be thankful for all the blessings in your life and know that you were such a blessing to somebody on the other side. Like this, um, I get like you kind of took care of them and they were, they've taken care of you so much and you were able to um, show your gratitude in some lovely way. One, four, four, sign to raise your vibration. You're leveling up Libra as a healer, as a light worker, as a light being. Well, Libra, I hope this helped. Please do take care and, uh, you know, I love reading your comments. Thank you for subscribing and for liking these videos. I appreciate you.